This is one of the built-in designs on the Bernina 880, but I want to show you how you could actually change the density of this satin stitch, and you can also change it from a satin stitch to a step stitch. Now, that would be a great option if you're taking one of the letters and making it as big as this hoop, all right? So that satin stitch gets really, really long. That could actually be something that those stitches could be a little bit um, fragile if they got caught on something, you catch your fingernail or your ring on it. So change them to a different type of stitch, a stitch that actually stitches back and forth, back and forth instead of one long Long jump. So here's where we're looking on screen to make that adjustment. With your design on screen, touch the eye for information. And you're probably all the way at the top of this list. You'll need to slide your finger up until you get to the very last icon. This little square with the zigzag on top is our stitch density and stitch kind changing screen. So if we wanted to change it from a satin stitch to a step stitch, touch this little toggle switch, and now you'll actually have control over how long those stitches are. So if you want them a little bit tighter than eight millimeters, you could bring those that stitch down. Now what you're doing is adding more stitches to the design that can add to length of design, but it's also probably gonna look good too. Make sure you maybe give it a little test as you're experimenting with this area for the first time. All right, then the other thing would be density how close together the stitches are. So why would you even change density in the first place? If you were playing around with different thicknesses of thread, not your normal embroidery weight thread, this could be where you could um, increase or decrease the density. Another place would be is if you wanted to stitch something like this on a leather, uh, vinyl, or even like a paper, you're not going to want to have these stitches so heavy. You're going to perforate that base. And so if you lighten them up, make less stitches, then you'll actually see, yes, you will see that uh, fabric or paper through the stitching, but it won't actually cut it. Because every time a needle goes through, you'll perforate that edge. You can almost see that on the back as we talk about what it looks like when it stitches through tearaway stabilizer, it's practically, perf it has perforated all the way through. So that is kind of the concept of adjusting the density. If you've ever stitched out something that was designed to be like on a greeting card, you'll know what I'm talking about, where the density actually has been reduced. And I'll tell you, those designs actually stitch out fast for that exact reason, because there's less stitches. So again, play around with the way you want it to look and based on the fabrics you're working on. Once you've set it, touch the green check mark, it'll recalculate the stitches and make it ready to stitch. Please check out all of our videos that we have created on the Bernina 880. You'll find all the links below this YouTube video.